What's up guys, how is it going? So today we're going to be covering the uh, third inversion major six because last time we did the second inversion I believe and this one should be straightforward, nice and easy because uh, let's pretend we're in C um, Okay, so this is the roof position, alright Then we invert it to the first inversion, we take the root to the top then we want the second inversion, so we take the E to the top. And then we have the third inversion, which is what we're covering today, which is taking the bottom note to the top, okay? So this is what it's looking like. So now if you pay attention to the shape, let me go down here. What do you recognize? I see an A minor triad, so A, C, and E plus the minor seventh note of that A, which is G. Super easy. So all you have to do to play the third inversion is literally play the relative minor, okay, of the key in question, the notes of the relative minor. So if you know your relative minors, you know the relative minor of C is A, okay? You play that relative minor triad and then you add that minor seventh note, okay? So I would suggest you get to know all the uh, relative minor. How do you get to know the relative minor of the of the note or the key you're in? There's two ways, okay? You can count backwards from the note in question, from the root note key. You can count uh, four half steps, so one, two, three, four, from the C going backwards. Or you can just think of it as the sixth note, okay? In this case, it's A. Personally, as you know, if you know the notes straight away, it's better rather than doing all your calculations, extra calculations, because it just makes you waste time, in my opinion. Um, but if you know all your six notes or your six uh, degrees of each key, it's going to be super easy for you. Another way you can think of memorizing the shape or recognizing uh, the third inversion major six is playing the major triad root position as is so visualizing it as is but you're just adding that sixth note to it okay rather than thinking um about it as a a your point of reference becomes the c triad okay so there's no right or wrong whatever works for you uh personally i just like to think of it as the major triad okay of the key in question plus the sixth because if i think of it as an a it might confuse me and might think, I might think, oh, what key am I in, right? Am I in? So personally, I would just think of it as a C major triad with the six, but you can think of it as other way too, which is the relative minor note A, okay? Plus it's minor seven note. So let's take another two keys. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to play the third inversion major six of Mm, let's take a D, okay, D major. So if I know that my D major triad looks like this, I already know the B is the six degree, so I'm just adding to it. Nice and easy, okay? Or if you want to think of the other way, I know the six degree is B, so I'm going to play that minor, B minor, okay? And also add that minor seventh note to it, which is A. Okay, let's take uh, let's take the last one. So let's do with E. I mean E. I know the shape of the major triad E is this, and all I'm adding to it is that major sixth note, which I already know is C sharp or D flat. So this is how it's looking. Or I can think of it the other way around. Uh, you're thinking about the minor triad of the relative minor of E, which is C sharp or D flat. Okay, and you're adding its minus seven notes, which is B. Okay, cool. Right, fingering wise, pretty straightforward. Thumb on a sixth degree, index on the root note, middle on the third degree, and on the fifth, the pinky. Or you can swap the third and the fourth fingers per usual. Okay, and then with the left hand, pinky on the sixth degree. Uh, ring finger on the um, key notes 
index on the third degree and on the thumb the fifth okay or you can you can swap again with the left middle and ring whatever works all right cool i hope that makes sense so i'm gonna go through all the keys as per usual and then i'm gonna play chromatically upwards and downwards with both hands let's go <laughs> 